Hi, my name is Chris Stevens. I am the floor manager here at Watermark Books and Cafe, and you are watching Book Broadcasts. Today I would like to talk to you about two mysteries that I am really enthusiastic about. The first is one of my favorites from 2020. It is called The Butcher's Blessing. And there is a lot going on in this book. There is, it takes place in 1996 in Ireland, and it is happening at the, with the mad cow disease as a backdrop. So the main character named Una is a 12-year-old girl. She is really in awe of her father, who is a traditional butcher in Ireland. He believes that in order to butcher a cow, eight men need to be touching the cow at the time. Otherwise, a, good, a big curse befalls Ireland. She, her whole family has grown up believing this. Therefore, he is on the road 11 months out of the year butchering cattle. She wants to be the same when she grows up, even though she is a girl. Her mother is obviously a little less excited about the prospects so that her husband is on the road for 11 months out of the year. And so you have this great dual, dual narrative of someone being totally in awe of this, another person having to live with the other day, everyday facts of it, and there is a murder that happens because of this exact lifestyle. There are smuggling rings that happen because the mad cow disease has happened and there has to be ways of getting beef into Ireland. It is a beautifully written, interesting, complicated book, and I thoroughly believe everybody should take a look at this. All right, the second title I want to talk to you about today is The House on Vesper Sands. This is a Victorian mystery which starts out, out with a supposed suicide in which a seamstress has stitched a mis message onto her skin before she jumps out of a building. From there, this leads an inspector from Scotland Yard, Inspector Cutter, and a former priest on a mission all around London trying to figure out what is going on. There are also women who are disappearing throughout the course of the book, um, and you find out how all of these are intertwined. There is an aura of, is this actually a mystical issue? Is there a cult that's, that's occurring with this? And so there are a whole lot of um, unanswered questions that are going on at the same time. If you don't fall in love with Inspector Cutter's sharp wit, then you will fall in love with the ferocity of some of the other characters, and you will also love um, Gideon Bliss, who is completely earnest in everything he does, if completely overwhelmed by everything happening to him at the same time. The book has a lot of dark humor to it, but it's just a really well-written, very fun book.